And uh, these two guys, you know, I gotta say, Tilo kind of not playing to what I'm used to seeing. He was not really up to par in that game. Hopefully we'll see a better game coming from him. But then again, Vibe is just so good. He really yeah. handled it well. The Vibe is getting better and better, man. That's I the mean, Vibe I'm getting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like getting booed. <laughs> <laughs> Crucify him. <laughs> All right, we got the Overlord coming up here. Going to take a peek over here at the command center. I can't believe they just booed you, Jesus. Yeah. I thought it was funny. <laughs> so uh, the Overlord's going to take a peek over here at the command center. <laughs> and he'll probably turn around here like we normally see. Now TLO should be sending an SV out to intercept that Overlord. You know, it's kind of weird. We've seen some people miss. Dude, that happens in the GSL uh, all the time, yeah, too. Yeah, it does. These, these pro gamers, they're like, well, you know, I don't really want to know where the Zerg is. <laughs> <laughs> all right, he goes over here, peeks, TLO. Yeah, TLO has no He's idea. He's not peeking. TLO doesn't want to know, man. He doesn't want to know where know. Vibe is. Some people just aren't curious in life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, some of them aren't. No, uh, you know, he, he, didn't, he did miss that. He might send an SCB a little bit later. Some Zerg players, when they go over there, they peek and then they go directly in this um, direction. Oh. And Tilo he's finally he going to see it. Okay. Well, oh, did he? Vibe. Um, Vibe is going to go ahead and make a uh, hatchery down over here pretty soon. He may try to get a pool out there in a little bit. We're going to see. <laughs> those are the two options those are probably, that have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he might get a gas in between one of those or in front of one of those, but... Definitely, those are some things that will probably happen. I tasteless. basically solved it. <laughs> yeah, you did. The tasteless build. Now, here we go. The SCB going to move out here. And it will be a hatchery first. Uh, you know, pretty standard. The SCB going to go down and see that quite quickly. The gas, again, uh, after the barracks. Will TLO go for a similar build once again? He might, man. We've seen him do this uh, Hellion Marine siege tank push a few times now, but... It hasn't really been working against these top-class Zergs at the MLG. Yeah, I think the only one that I can really think of that was really impressing me was the Thorzane one against Hydra. But yeah, generally these two base pushes, mm -hmm. they're good. But you know, when you get control like this from players this this skilled, it's it's pretty tough. Yeah, yeah you know, Zerg can swarm up quite well, so you have to push absolutely perfectly. Like Thorzane did. Well, a few more Marines going to come out here, and it looks like we're probably going to have uh, you know factory coming up yeah. there it is being started now oh look at this sending uh the barracks off oh nice he's gonna spot this overlord oh, oh no he's not he missed it he did he thought it would already he thought be, it would be over in this region luckily vibes missed overlord timing was a little bit lazy and with this overlord over here he's gonna be able to check and see when is the second vespian gas guys are gonna be taken that's gonna give him a lot of great information about what's going on in this game yeah, that's uh, a great thing to do. And in fact, Tasteless TLO is getting a reactor, as we see on that production tab, which means, once again, he is going to do at least some Hellions for some uh, harassment and map control. Meanwhile, down here at Vibe's base, he's going to get a spine crawler. He might want to edge that up a little bit. You've got to make sure your ramp is safe. Uh, he is, again, not going to get an extractor anytime soon. He wants to get a bunch of drones. And, you know, that's, that's a good style. The, between queens and spine crawlers, you can deal with a lot. Uh, of course, he has to be careful about Hellion run-bys. So good against Zerglings when uh, they're behind those minerals. It's very hard for Zerglings to actually engage, especially if they're slow. You know, this entrance is specifically on this map. You've got to be very careful. Um, there's just a lot of area to cover here. He's going to get the orbital soon. Tech Lab coming up as well. Quite true. And uh, the Hellion's going to be moving out now, Tasteless. We're going to have to see if they can actually do any damage. I don't think so, though. I really love the spine crawler placement of Vibe right now. He is actually so safe. Look at that. One in the mineral line, That's one in so front. Good. Queen on the ramp to stop them running by, and the other queen just kind of sitting there. Now, let's see. He goes and takes on the creep tumor, backs up. Now, note the, um, the Hellions, they can't see the second spine crawler over there. And just like we saw Thorzane get baited into going around to the back of the base, mm. we could see that with the Hellions. You know, against Hellion builds, it's always smart to make those two spine crawlers like that. Yeah. When they do run behind, as I was saying before, it becomes very, very difficult for Zerglings to actually deal with them. Siege tank on the way now. Second barracks. Uh, this build actually from TLO, uh, pretty similar to what we saw before. A queen taking some damage right now. Got to be careful with that queen. Those uh, Hellions can kind of hit it while it's sitting at the bottom of the ramp. So he does move it to the top. Not really able to push his creep. You know, I really think that has a lot to do with this build. Yeah, that seems to be the theme centered around it. As you can see, once again there, 
really what you're trying to do is just make sure that there's no way to get out on the map and have mobility, you know, if you have Hydras or even Zerglings and Roaches, uh, just having that extra boost of speed can really reward you, uh, in, whether it's in a battle or retreating. And I gotta say, I really like this build. We've seen this kind of concept of just controlling how much creep the Zerg have. Vibe, this is very intentional, sending an Overlord in here. He's trying to just get as much intel as he can, and he sees the... I believe the checker, did he actually see that second barracks over there? He did not. No. Nope. But he will see this expansion over here with the Zerglings. Quite true. You know, he saw, uh, though, the reactor, he saw the factory with the tech lab, and I think that's going to cue him off into thinking, oh, this is probably the same build as before. What Look is his spine crawler doing? He's like trying to be a queen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're not a queen, Spine You're not a crawler. queen. He'll never be a queen. Uh, actually, he's doing it again, destroying the creep here. Yeah, very nice. I like nice the way stand. Kilo's doing this. Actually, destroying his oh, own wow. heli in there to take out that creep tumor. That's a TLO move if I ever saw it, Tasteless. Yeah, that's our TLO right there. He would nuke his own battle cruiser if he thought he would do something cool. <laughs> <laughs> More Marines coming. I, it, as far as I can tell, and correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm not reading this right, it looks like he's just going to do a very similar push to what we saw in the previous game. I would go ahead and say the exact same push, yeah. push Tasteless. And uh, this time, Vibe is setting up for it just a little bit different. He is getting Baneling Speed again and Aspire, but he's set up a Spine Crawler on the high ground. Yeah, this is nice. And I kind of like that. That's going to force Tilo down to just one side. He's not going to want to battle against a Spine Crawler he can't see. And you know what makes this unique is, and why it's so good is there's no starport out. There's really no way for him to see onto the mm. high ground. It's very easy to screw up, uh, as you can see, and just be hit by the spine. Now, Baneling's speed is only about two-thirds the way done, so Vibe is going to be a little bit iffy right now on whether or not he can actually break this. A siege tank almost going too he close to the spine. He needs to cancel this. Ooh. Can Vibe hold on? He needs to get Baneling speed for sure here before he engages this. He also needs to keep his army alive here. The spine crawler is getting pretty low. And the bailing speed is almost, almost done, done. It's so close. It is so, so Ken close. Vibe, hang on. 20 lings on the way. Five mutilists on the way as well. The queen has gone down. The hatchery is getting hit. Here he and comes. And bailing speed has finished. Vibe attacking in. Four Marines do get into the bunker. But the bunker does go down. A siege tank down as well. And TLO still has a pretty strong push right here. But seven meters on the way. More than enough to take out those five Marines. And this game may end up looking exactly the this same. This is actually, I feel like I'm in the movie Groundhog's Day. I think this game may turn out to be the exact same result for the exact same reasons. Not enough Marines here uh, to take on the air units. And I think as long as Vibe just hangs on here, takes out these tanks, and continues to make Zerglings and Mutalisks, uh, he should pull through with a win. But we'll see. Micro in away from those Marines right now. TLO still has quite a few. And let Zerglings come out. That's going to be enough. Vibe is going to clean up this attack. So TLO now uh, behind exactly in the same way as last game. Wow. Well, we know uh, for sure Vibe knows how to deal with this strategy. You know, that's a sign of a good Zerg player is really hanging on to your expansion and not fighting back until the last second when you have uh, just that much more than your opponent. A lesser Zerg would have uh, been baited in and tried to attack. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to get wiggly and scared. You want to sit there strong, solid like a rock. That's right, Artosis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the Mute is flying over here. And um, they're going to go and try to take out some SCVs. Of course, uh, if I can just get a quick shot of this, we're going to have an expansion over here, and you will probably take the gold in just a minute. That's very important because that's why these Mutalisks are or kind of orbiting around the Terran's base every once in a while, dipping in, seeing if they can take out a Marine, a Siege Tank, a Depot, anything. Yeah, anything at all that he can take out will just uh, make his lead bigger and bigger. You know, I love the fact that he's expanding kind of far away. Look at that, double evolution chamber again. This is actually the same game ported <laughs> over to a new map. Dude, this is actually the same game, yeah, literally, as you just said, porting onto a new map. So uh, we definitely know that uh, right now Vibe knows how to deal specifically with TLO uh, executing this very specific strategy. Uh, again, even just making the Marine, uh, the uh, SCVs rather, repair over here, that's one uh, good maneuver to pull off. The splash, even killing off some of those SCVs. Yeah. They're just there to repair. Casualties of war. And, uh, you know, he forced a stim out there. Tilo, I think, is having a tough time in this game. I don't feel like he's playing up to his full potential here. Mm. Now, remember, guys, there's a lot on the line here. This is a situation where, uh, you know, the loser is out of MLG. Oh. Nice shot. <laughs> SCV tries to throw the gas at him. 